Good afternoon. Greetings to you all. This is Lisa, and it is Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be with you, isn't it? I was messaged this morning uh, when I did the prompt of I'm going live in uh, 20 minutes. I got an email saying, would you please talk about uh, what happens when we feel depressed and how to get out of depression? And that's a beautiful segue to today's message. You see, as a clinical hypnotherapist, I believe that is not who I am, but it is some of the tools. It's one of the tools that I use to help my clients feel better and become stronger and healthier and happier. Because it is a tool and it is not who I am, I help you also to delve within yourself or even without even delving within yourself to realize all the layers and labels that you have placed upon yourself at so many times in your life. And the labels could be, I am just this, I am a banker, I am depressed, I am hurt, I, you know, all those labels. And when we come to a point that we use those labels, I am depressed, I am overweight, then if we believe that and make that a part of our story and you know what happens? We get to live that part of the story over and over until the time that we become that story, we own that story, and we realize we have absolutely no way out of it. I am stuck. I am stuck, I am depressed, and uh, I don't see a way out. And that is one of the things that I work with, it's so many who come and say, I am depressed, I have been depressed all my life. And when I ask how long have you felt this way, most people say, I think this is how I've been feeling. Well, believe it or not, a feeling is not a thought, right? And if we think what we feel, that means it's a thought. And our thoughts are not the same as what we feel. It's through hypnosis or through guided visualization or through relaxation, the techniques that I use, that I help my clients relax and come out of this thinking mode into the feeling mode. You see, when we are so overwhelmed with all the thoughts, the labels, the uh, titles that we have placed upon ourselves, we forget about the feeling. So let me give you an example. Just a few days ago, I was talking, coaching someone. Uh, yes, I do action coaching. I was coaching someone via Skype. And we were going to be talking about something else. And I saw that she was quite distraught, feeling emotional, and I said, okay, how about we take this time and we talk about what's happening with you? And her response was, no, 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 we're going to be talking about this business. And I said, put the business aside. Let's talk about what's going on. And she broke down. She broke down because she was um, feeling sad and broken in a way that she said, my boyfriend broke up with me. She, she was crying because of a relationship breakup. And here's the thing. Can someone break us up? Or those are the words we use. 
she was quite emotional. And here's what the emotion was. He broke up with me via text. And he did it in a way that was not fair. I wanted for us to do it face to face and he didn't have the audacity to do it on face to face. And she was crying because of that. After a few moments of her calming down and talking to her a little bit more, it was my questions were directly about her feelings. How do you feel about the breakup? And she said, well, I saw it coming. I knew it was happening, but I wanted to do it in a more proper way. Okay, so are you crying because of the way it was done? Or are you crying and feeling because your relationship is no longer there? You see, if we sit and take that thinking mode and the thoughts of how dare you do this to me and become victim, how dare you break up with me via text, how dare you do this, that means we are in the blame mode versus what the reality is and what we are feeling. Once we tap into our feelings, we come to realize I'm hurt. I'm hurt because I knew it was coming, but I didn't know how I'm going to respond to this breakup. And it's the breakup that hurts me. It hurts that I am literally take, taking and t the tie that we had, the relationship that we had has truly come to an end. And I am facing this part. Although that relationship has been coming to an end for quite a long time. Most of us rather be busy with the thoughts, rather be busy with this blame and hurt game and thinking how dare you do this to me versus sitting back and truly crying for what we feel. What we feel from the inside, I am sorry of this relationship coming to an end. I am sorry that I feel whatever. And when we come to connect to our feelings, we realize that most of the crying is self-validation. Most of the crying is saying, I just wanted to be loved and I wanted to love. And I'm realizing that it's the love that came to an end. And it could be a loving relationship as a marriage. It could be a friendship. It could be boyfriend, girlfriend. Bottom line is we just want to be loved. We want to be accepted. We want to be validated. We want to share our time with someone who gives us back the same. When I help my clients in a relationship factor, I usually say men want to be respected and women want to be cherished. It's true. Um, and most of kids look up to their father to, especially if it's a girl, we want father's respect and validation, and we want mother's love and the validation to be cherished, to be loved. We don't want the female to respect us, but to love us, to cherish us. So once she calmed down and she could breathe and we started working on her feelings. We started working on you've seen this coming and is it the part that you didn't break up or this ego part of you? 
that it's hurt until she came to the realization, no, I'm just sorry that the love ended and now he can be with someone else and what could have been, it's not there. Sometimes when something comes to an end, like a relationship, a connection, it could be business, it could be lovers, it could be friendship. We must understand that sometimes it's that energy, what we gave to one another for the duration has come to a point that we have to move on. Either we are not receiving from that person the love, the nurturing, the support that we want. And even partnerships move on and separate. Because our energy of where we are going is different. That's why as we elevate our business or we elevate our love and what we want in life, when we feel our self-esteem grow and we become more confident and we are ready to blossom, the people who pull us down, the people who cannot support you, the people who um, are in the victim uh, mentality that constantly, excuse my words and saying, that suck at your energy, you have to let them go. And if it is the same in a friendship or a loving relationship or even intimacy, no matter how much you want to fix the relationship or you want them to come to that level to feel good about themselves and you're already rising, let them go. Because if you hold on to that relationship, then you are bringing yourself down. And if you do this, this is what's going to happen. It's not about the other person. You're going to feel resentful of yourself because of your gifts, your love, your compassion. So the crying was about herself, was about her needs, her wants, and saying, why can't you see where we are? Why can't you see the potential? And sometimes we have to let go of a person so they find their own potential instead of enabling that person. If we don't let that go and we come to hold ourselves back and hold yourself back and her holding herself back, she's going to feel depressed, angry, resentful, and everything else. And when we go into that victim mentality, we find a crutch, we find a habit to punish ourselves with. You see the cycle? It's such a vicious and such a subtle cycle. How do we punish ourselves? Eating, drinking, feeling depressed, smoking. Now, how do we change that? Is recognizing what I feel versus what I think. Tapping within yourself. And this is how Heal Within came about. Heal Within came about because I have done my work of healing within myself. And when I too get into this cycle of thinking, creating, doing, 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 until I realize, oh, I am overdoing, I am overwhelmed, I am... I can't think 
from one moment to another and I'm losing track of what I want to create and how I want to touch someone else's life because this is why I began this journey of Heal Within to be a catalyst to help you heal with it, to help someone you know and you love heal within. Our body th talks to us. It breaks down because it says, shut down, take time for yourself. And if we're not listening to how we feel, how we hurt, how much we are in pain or how our body is breaking down and that's the part that we have to say it's so not fair people don't do things to us they just do and how we react to it how we punish ourselves or reward ourselves you see that relationship that was coming to an end for months and the signals were truly there as recognizing how wonderful I am and it was going to come to an end I was not expecting it to be today and maybe that day she was feeling more nostalgic and it's okay to cry it's okay to feel it's okay to know that you are so much more and you are more than enough and you have so much love and compassion within yourself Yes, you do matter. And so does that person. It does not make that person bad. It does not make that person not worthy of love or your friendship. Maybe not now. And it doesn't mean that you did something wrong. It's just timing. Timing to love yourself and realize where you are going and what you want in your life is now focusing your attention to healing within, loving yourself, and moving forward. It's flow forward, my dear. Flow forward we can't force anything in life and what we have to do is sometimes peel away what I just did it's peel away the layers peel away and open up all that baggage all that pain all that hurt you know sometimes uh, just feeling that depression all the things that you depressed right and see yourself it's okay to stand up it's okay to reveal it's okay to breathe last week I talked about changing those walls into shields so you can shield yourself and protect yourself so if if therapy is something that you say oh I don't need therapy is realizing what is therapy I like I love words I truly love words I like using words and long time ago I used to read a dictionary and marvel in the essence of words a plethora of words you know even the word plethora isn't that gorgeous so when we think about the word therapy it's thera and then apathy or 
P, P Y, A P Y. Thera the part of having therapy, the part of releasing, the part of whatever it is that we want to say is we go to therapy not for the therapist but to help us hear ourselves. And someone listening and being witness to what we feel and what we think. And a part of the hypnotherapy is that I help my clients delve deeper and relax within themselves so they can hear their own thoughts and tap within their own feelings and into their subconscious that has is the hub of all the information. Every single day, every thought, every idea, every concept, it's right there. So just think of it as we reveal what we feel, we come to validate our feelings. We become our own witness and say, thank you. And we say, I am enough. I have love, I have strength, and we tap within our own power to heal with it. So, releasing stuck energy, releasing hurt. Once we evoke what was, then we come to embrace what is. And that is when we are ready to evolve and flow forward to truly evoking, embracing, and evolving, flowing forward to what it is that we want to focus in our life. And after our session, what she did was she felt calmer, more connected, more centered, and saying thank you to that beautiful relationship and the relationship that she is now ready to create with herself, with her daughter, and the new person that is going to come into her life. And when that person comes, they're going to be on a different path, on a different journey. And there is nothing more beautiful than being witnessed and supported by the person who sees you for who you are. Not your issues. Not the things that was a part of your story. Our past experiences are nothing but experiences and we can just put it to a stop right here and focus forward every single day find one thing that you would like to make a change i have created this thing called the 30 day 33 days to making a change to making one habit change and it takes 33 consecutive days to make that change. It is in my Heal Die Mind Body Connection booklet. In that booklet I have tools, techniques for you to utilize every day, every time that you want to tap within and learn something about how can laughter create, how can you become more confident, affirmations galore. And also I will be having uh, another podcast and webinar coming and you will have the information and you can click on it and be part of that. But until then, today, Make the decision to gift yourself, to take time out for you and sit back 
and say, what do I feel? Not what do I think? Thoughts come and go. Feelings come and go. And let them flow forward. And focus only on what you want to create and how you want to feel and where you want to be. Visualize forward. Focus forward. Once you embrace the reality of what is happening, then you can let it go. Marvel in who you are, if that makes sense. So today, I would like to take a few moments and do a guided visualization for five minutes. And for doing this, you can make sure that you are a place, that you are safe, um, sitting in your office, at home, wherever you are, and just enjoy being with you. Mm -hmm. So for that, allow me to reduce the volume of my background music. Hold on. Okay. <sighs> Ready? So, take a nice deep breath. Breathe in, and as you allow that oxygen and vitality that comes into your body through your nostrils to go back to the back of your throat, and as it lingers, exhale, releasing and letting go. One more time. Allowing every breath bring in oxygen and vitality, goodness, love, and healing. And as you exhale each and every time, you release and let go of all tension, worries, doubt, hurt, sadness, guilt, shame. And as you become one with your own breath, allow yourself to relax even deeper. And just imagine in your own mind's eye a beautiful blue light protecting you, shielding you. Relaxing you, protecting you. It's an invisible blue light that no one can see. And it covers from the top of your head all the way down to the bottom of your feet. And you feel safe. And you can allow that shield, the transparent shield, become so close to your body as if it becomes a part of your body. 
covering your skin. And as you breathe in, allow yourself to even drift deeper, sinking into where you are in that comfort zone within yourself. Marveling in who you are. Just being present with yourself. And saying thank you to your body. Every essence, every nerve, every organ, every tissue, every cell in your body beginning to heal, beginning to feel better, becoming more loving If there is any pain or hurt, either physical, emotional, just concentrate and focus on that point. If it is a feeling or if it's a spot, if it's a cut or a wound, if there are disease, this ease, or pain. Just breathe into it and focus your attention as if sending a blue light and warmth, love to that one spot. And the blue light begins to heal to safeguard it. And with each and every breath, you allow the oxygen and vitality to come in. And as you exhale, you release and let go. You breathe out and you release. All that is no longer necessary, all that is no longer needed, all the hurt and pain and dis-ease, all the disconnection. If there is any negativity or darkness, allow the blue light to shed a light and begin the healing within. Just close your eyes and become one with every essence of the spirit within you inside this body for you are not your body. And yet your body houses you, shields you and protects you. Although you have all the thoughts and think with a sound mind, you are not brains only and although you have a heart that pumps oxygenated blood for you you are not all emotions you are the essence of all that there is as a whole you are light you are love you are a gift Accept and appreciate yourself far more deeply than ever before today. One day at a time. And continue doing this for 33 consecutive days. And you will flow forward. Because you are more than enough. Value yourself, appreciate yourself, 
and know that you do matter. This incredible body of yours, tall or short, big or small, matters. The perfection is not in your body or the front. The perfection of you is within. And every single day, you become. You blossom. You heal with it. You are love, you are enough, and you matter to me. This is Lisa Bubari. I hope this session was beneficial to you. Mm. Until next week, may you evoke, embrace, and evolve to the best that you are. Tomorrow is Wednesday. I wonder what's gonna happen tomorrow. And as I have said yesterday, I mentioned, you may find my daily quotes and healspirations on my professional page on Facebook on Heal Within page. So I'm going to take a moment and see if there is any questions or anything that I may be able to respond here. Oh, hi, Mark. Thank you. Uh, yes, if this message resonated with you or you believe that someone would like to hear and you can gift them by sharing this message, share this entire thing, or just have them contact me directly at Lisa B at healwithin.com. All right. Oh, hi, Sylvia. How are you, sweetie? You're welcome. You're welcome. Hi, Wayne. Hello, Alina John. Hello, and thank you to all of you who joined this segment of Heal Talk Tuesdays. I will come to an not I will, but I will bring this session to an end and look forward to seeing you next week. In the meantime, you can always contact me, PM me, message me.